No question, hibiscus flowers are a lovely and colorful addition to any garden. And if you're looking to plant some, we have a few tips on how to help them flourish and which ones are right for you in tonight's In the Garden. This week we're talking hibiscus and you have maybe seen one of these types of hibiscus plants before, tropical hibiscus plants, mm -hmm. but there's a lot more other varieties. Caleb, can you tell me about some of the different ones here and some of their unique traits? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. A lot of times people think of hibiscus as the ones you see in Hawaii or mm -hmm. the beautiful pictures and we certainly have those. They're great. They're uh, a tropical look. Uh, they're an annual, so they don't really survive our winters, but you can do them as a house plant or in your spring and summer containers. Um, you know, a lot of fun, a lot of bright color. But then there's other types of hibiscus, uh, like the one you're next to is actually, uh, so a lot of people call it, uh, it's the nickname Rose of Sharon. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a shrub. It can also be a tree form. So basically, uh, you know, loses its leaves and then in the spring, leaves out. And then in the summer, flowers and, uh, you know, it gets to be about like five by five feet tall. So if you're looking for nice. a permanent looking hibiscus in your yard, that's a, a great choice. Mm -hmm. Um, and then next to me and uh, down here, I've got your perennial hibiscus. And now these actually die all the way back down to the ground in the fall, late fall. And then they come back up and they bloom from July to October. Um, this guy right here is a very tall hibiscus and this one's a little bit shorter one. Mm -hmm. And what type of care do these plants need? Do they need a lot of care, a little care? What's kind of... Um, they need a sunny location and then really uh, the biggest thing is when they start to flower they're using a lot of energy so they're definitely going to be heavy feeders so make sure you're fertilizing them with either a slow release or a liquid. Well who knew there were this many varieties? Thank you so much Caleb. If you have any questions about hibiscus you can head to our website at kezi.com. Okay.